Welcome RPA Champions. In today's video I want to do something special. Since we're approaching the 10,000 subscribers on the channel I wanted first to thank you all and for this video I wanted to create a AI agent that runs on our local machine. Exactly, an AI agent that is going to be using browser use to automate our browser and on top of that we're going to be using Olama we're going to be using Olama to download a model locally on our machine and we're going to use it to ask the AI to do pretty much anything on the browser and as long as we have good instructions then the AI is going to be able to perform those instructions. So in this video I have actually figured out what is one of the best models that we can use with Olama that is really accurate and performs tasks pretty well. All right, so in this right now, what we have seen it do, it has opened a browser on my computer. It is going to this profile right here, and I gave it a task to create a post in the style of Shakespeare about automation. So it is creating a post, it's writing all kinds of stuff. In this example, we are using Quen, I think it's Quen 2.5. Uh, it's a relatively small model that can be run with uh, with a little bit of RAM and a good pro processor. So you don't need any fancy GPUs or anything special to run this model. All you need to do is set it up on your computer. And right now I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it. It is going to be easy. It's going to be for everybody. So you don't have to be a developer, a coder to follow along. All right, let's get started. So to get started, we see that our automation is still running. Our agent is still running. So this is going to be, again, I'm going to repeat it again. It's going to be really easy. Now, there are a few requirements that uh, we need. So we need to download Python. So you should go to Python and download version uh, 3.11. So you're going to go to Python. You're not going to download 3.13 because it's not going to work with this version. You're going to go to the downloads and look for the uh, previous downloads, look for the version that is 3.11. And then once you find version 3.11, you just download it and install it. Once you have done that, you're going to need a code editor. So I suggest that you use Visual Studio Code, the, in the code editor that I'm using in this example that I will be showing you. You need a code editor because it's gonna make it easy to kind of set up everything and have everything running. So uh, install Visual Studio and on top of that I do advise you to set up maybe some extensions that are going to make your coding life easier. But that for another video. All right, so what do we have to do? We have to go and search for browser use. Once we have found browser use, we're going to be using not the GUI browser use, meaning one with an interface. We're going to be creating our own code and our own automation. So to do that, it is very easy to install. Once we have Python installed and we have set up a virtual environment, now how do we set up a virtual environment? So we are going to create a new folder. So we're going to open a folder and let's create a new folder. You can call it whatever you want. In my example, I'm going to be using this folder that I already have. It's going to be a completely empty folder. Now, the first command that you are going to run is going to be a command that is going to allow you to install a virtual environment. A virtual environment, so this is the command right here, Python minus M venv venv. So this is going to create this folder and it's creating this folder so that we don't have to install all of the libraries that we're going to need to run this on our local machine, but we can create a virtual environment for that. So it's super simple to do it. You just run this command and Python takes care of it. It creates a virtual environment. Now, after that, the next command that you're going to need to run is going to be to activate your virtual environment. Now, run this command right here. This command is going to allow you to activate your virtual environment and you will see something like this venv and web browser now you might get a error that uh, an error that tells you uh, that you don't have the right privileges now just copy paste that error into ChatGPT, and you're going to get a answer of how to solve it it's also very very straightforward now if you manage to get to this point the rest setting up this is going to be super easy we're just going to copy this command right here 
and paste it inside of the top inside of the terminal inside of the terminal right here so it's going to it, uh, so you're going to install it it's going to take a little bit of time around like from three to five minutes to install all of the libraries once that is done you're going to copy this command right here and install that command as well now that's pretty much it so we have browser use setup now what we need to do is we need to set up olama olama is going to allow us to set up a local ai models on our computer so we're going to be able to run all kinds of different models so what you're going to do is very easy to install you're just going to click on download and install and once it's downloaded and installed you're going to see it right here there is no pain configuration pain it's uh, that's pretty much all you're going to see from it the next step is going to be to download the different models now the model that i uh, advise and that i have tried out also that works best uh, locally is Quen 2.5 so you're going to search for this model right here and once you have found it you can install it so you can run it first you're gonna need to pull it from uh, with this command right here that I will show you so Olama pull Quen 2.5 this is going to download the model on your machine and then once it's uh, once it's running on your machine you're ready to set up browser use on your machine now to set up browser use on your machine uh, it is also very simple so here they give you an example of some code that uses open AI I believe yes it uses open AI so you need an environment file where you're gonna put the open AI or whatever API that you want however if we go to the documentation of browser use and we go inside of the supported models and we scroll all the way to the bottom we are going to find Olama support so it tells you basically to download uh, Olama to download the model that you need with this Olama pool and then we downloaded Quen 2.5 and then Olama start now they are also using Quen 2.5 I've tried also other models I will show you as well the models that I have uh, but it seems to work more accurately with this configuration so you can just take it this script out of the box and going back to visual studio you can just create a new file and we're going to call this test.py and let's paste this code in there so this is everything that you would need i created a code that is a little bit that has a few more steps inside of it so i also used an ai agent to create this code I gave all of the documentation to the AI agent and I asked it to create me a code I will be sharing this code on the discord server for whoever is interested in using this code now in this example I have asked the agent so let, let's walk through this code right here so right here we have the configuration with Olama so this depending on the model that you're using if you're using ChatGPT or Olama this configuration is going to change and here we also have some configuration for the browser settings so such as headless false meaning that we don't want to see the browsers all the time in front of in front of us we also have the agent configuration so the agent configuration is going to allow us to specify the model to use the browser version and also if we're going to use vision meaning screenshots or not so in this example i have a task now also from quite a few examples i figured out that you need to be pretty detailed when giving the examples it's not just enough to say go and create me a post about automation just like it wouldn't be enough to go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT create me a post about automation you need to give it a little bit of detail like what kind of post for who is the post how long the post should be and so forth but in, in this example where you're telling the agent what to do you also need to help the agent in doing different things why because every time the agent doesn't know how to do something is going to try to figure things out but if you give it instructions to the best of your abilities like for example instead of saying like uh, publish a post on linkedin we're going to go and tell it like log into linkedin because it's going to know that it's going to go to the sign up page and use the credentials that we're going to provide in the instructions and so on and so on so be very detailed with your 
instructions is going to be easier easier for the ai to work so if i list all of the different models that i have i have quite a few different models on my computer also some very large models such as the deep seek optimized version which is 42 gigabytes and also and also i thought i downloaded other models but i'm not really sure i don't have them anyways let's try our agent and see how it behaves so we have started our main file that is connected to olama so this means that we are not using any apis why is this really great because we want to have our agent running for hours doing different tasks now if we are doing this via an api it's actually going to cost us quite a bit of money so in order to save money tokens and not use apis we're going to be running this on our computer that's why it's so cool to use it with olama and that's why i think this is such a cool video now i want you to tell me some ideas of different automations that we can use with browser use i'm really curious about your use cases and how we can use this technology to automate all kinds of different processes and one more thing if you have stayed with me for so long don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave me a like on the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next automation